Welcome to Church Unleashed at Christmas, a time when we celebrate the unconditional love of God being born in a manger in Bethlehem. A time when we remember the story of angels and shepherds, of Mary and Joseph, when we remember the gift of God's love in Jesus through the sharing of our own gifts with family and friends. So this morning we invite you to join us as we hear again the story of Jesus' birth and we sing the carols that proclaim this joy to the world and share the wonder of God's love that is Christmas. So take a deep breath as we begin worship this morning. Will you pray with us? God, you have filled us with the new light of the Word who became flesh and lived among us. Let the light of our faith shine in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. walked in the darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who dwell in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. A reading from Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness God called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Of the Father's love begotten, ere the world began to be, He is Alpha and Omega, He the source, the ending, He. Of the things that are that have been, and that future ye shall see, evermore and evermore. 
O that by forever blessed, when the virgin full of grace by the Holy Ghost conceiving, O the Saviour of our race, and the babe the world's revealed his sacred face evermore and evermore. Amen. We have beheld Christ's glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. In the world was life, and the life was the light of the people. A reading from Micah. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? A reading from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. 
Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? A reading from Matthew. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins." All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sin is reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord, let him timely hold him come, offspring of the virgin's womb, filled in flesh the Godhead see, held in carnage deity, pleased as man with us to dwell. Jesus, our Emmanuel, hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. 
In the wonder and mystery of the word, made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory, that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God we cannot see. A reading from Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed by joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What charm is this, O maid, to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, who manges greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch our keeping. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the Son of Man. So bring him incense, gold, and myrrh, come peasant king to own him. The king of kings, salvation brings, let loving hearts enthrone him. Raise, raise the song on high, the virgin sings a lullaby. Joy, joy, for Christ is born, the babe, the Son of Mary. In the wonder and mystery of the word, made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory, that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God we cannot see. A reading from Luke. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. 
So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing all the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? What the gladsome tidings be? which inspire your heavy song. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis children of God and heirs of God's promises through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Sing with joy, for all the ends of the earth shall know the salvation of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Thank you. 
Friends in Christ, I invite you to join us in a time of prayer. God, thank you for giving us the gift of Jesus. Thank you for the story and the music of Christmas. Thank you for your unconditional love and grace. Thank you for this Church Unleashed community and all who are gathered for worship today. Thank you for everyone who made this worship possible. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us all to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary and the obedience of Joseph. May you experience the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds. May you know the everlasting peace of Jesus, who is Savior, Christ, and Lord. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you and keep you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. May you be unleashed, unleashed into the world to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God, God and, and Merry Christmas. Christmas. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive our King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Heaven and sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let all their songs employ. While fields and flocks, rocks, hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders of his love.